Hey, how are you doing? I haven't seen you for a while and to be honest, I missed you. So that's why today I decided to spend some time with you and take you somewhere. You know, there's this nagging feeling I get if I don't do what I want to do for a very long time. It happens when I deny something, postpone something, or even procrastinate on something. And in this case, it's the creative process, making videos for this channel. For the last few weeks, I didn't do anything. It was very hot, some was very messy. I couldn't co focus and concentrate on the things I want to do apart from my full-time job. My sleep was worse and yeah, I kind of didn't find the energy or the muse to do something creative. But that's something then that's just inside of me, which is creating like a little bit of a friction because this is my art, this is my place to share my thoughts with you, to put them in order, to make sense of them and to just actually disconnect from everything else that's occupying my mind. And I actually missed it, I really missed it to look in this black Whole talking to you, the audience on the other side, which is for me a signal that I shouldn't stop doing it. I should still do videos, put myself out there to express myself in my very own way. And I don't want all this to be an excuse because I think if you really want to do something, you still might find the time or the muse to do it. You know, it's very difficult if you don't have a working routine. Routine is very important to, to stick to something and to do something consistently. What I've noticed is that it's it's very difficult to get back to something once you're out of it, you know, once you're out of the flow and you're used to not doing it anymore, which made it very difficult to to get out here and, you know, be in public, film a new video again, which is always like, you know, you always get back to this like cringe feeling, cringy feeling that like, you know, other people like just in front of me, I have a few restaurants and other people sitting there looking at me and thinking about what is this dude doing but at the end I think we should just do what gives us joy and do it anyway you know like at the end it doesn't matter really what people think it's more about what we think about our work and what we think about what we are doing and about our life because we're the only people to please to be honest not everyone else yeah I didn't I didn't script anything today usually I script my videos but today I wanted to to keep it very natural you know just spontaneous and see what comes out of my mind which can be a mess, but I hope you stick with me anyway. There's one thing that struck me this week and one of the newsletter I'm subscribing to, it's from James Clear, the author of Atomic Habits. And he's sending out a newsletter every Thursday and this time he had like an idea or a question for his audience. Many things in life go through phases. It can be like the seasons, spring, summer, fall, winter. Each season has its own set of needs and demands. Think about something important to you. Maybe it's a project or a job perhaps a hobby or even a relationship. What season are you in right now and what does that season require? It's a very interesting question because I think there's so many things we can do with our lives or so many paths we can walk. And this is something I struggle with all the time because I have many interests. Many times I'm asking myself, do I pursue this hobby now? Or do I do this thing or that thing? Because obviously you don't have all the time in the world to do everything you want to do, mostly you have to prioritize. What do you focus on and where you invest your time? This is the thing that's going to expand. Do I focus more on my creative projects? Do I focus more on work, on my social life? Do I invest more in meeting people, making new friends, joining social clubs or whatever I'm interested in? There's always something, I guess, that you need to sacrifice. And that's something very difficult for me because I would love to do everything and have a good time and fun doing it. But it's very difficult with this, with my creativity on this channel. I really wanted to go back to it because it was suffering. I was sacrificing it the whole summer, the last few weeks and months. And yeah, I wasn't happy anymore about it. You know, I want to do something about it. So, so happy to be back, even though this video today is a little bit, I don't know, maybe different, maybe more spontaneous. Maybe you can relate to things I'm, I'm saying in this video. I hope so. That would be amazing if so please let me know in the comments. It would be very interesting as well to know what you are struggling with right now or where you think you should spend more time 
doing things that you might, you know, have done more in the past, but like just life took over and you just didn't get to anymore. This could be a form of art, this could be sports, this could be any hobby. It doesn't matter. I would love to know if there's something you, you have inside of you that's a voice that's telling you, hey, get back to doing this, you know? It, it gives you joy, it gives you something. Don't deny that voice. And take some time and space to, to engage in that activity. You, you might deny right now or not giving enough attention to. This could be as well a person, obviously. It doesn't need to be an activity or a project. It could be a person, it could be a relationship could be whatever, you know, we're all different. Anyways, I don't even know where I wanted to go with this video. I guess it's just a little life update, a little insight into what's going on in my mind. And I guess the main message or conclusion of this video is do more things that give you joy. And that's actually what I'm going to do right now because it's very hot and it's a beautiful afternoon. So I'm going to jump into the sea because that's something that gives me a lot of joy. See you soon.